Hey guys, today's uh, topic is cell division and mitosis, and we're talking about the uh, second set of uh, learning targets and really focusing on uh, how mitosis maintains that constant number of chromosomes in a cell. Um, so we're going to get right away going with that here. Uh, this is part two, mitosis cell division. Um, basically, mitosis is that process that we talked about, that part of the cell cycle that, uh, that allows our, our cell to actually split into two and copy itself. <coughs> so prophase is the first phase of mitosis. Now, what we're doing in prophase are these basic three basic points up here. Chromosomes are going to shorten, thicken, and become visible. So we form those dense chromosomes. Uh, the nucleus and other organelles start to break down and disappear. And organelles called centrioles begin to make spindle fibers. You can kind of see that in this, uh, this diagram here, prophase. These are your centrioles over here. Uh, they don't really show them, so I'll circle them in green. Uh, the uh, nucleus, they start to show the outside of the nucleus get highlighted. Um, that outside of the nucleus starts to disappear, and these chromosomes that are being formed uh, come out and uh, thicken. So those are the major parts of prophase. It's just just first step of cell division, getting rid of that nucleus, and getting ready to move those chromosomes around. Step two in cell division is talking about uh, metaph it's called metaphase, and what we're doing really in metaphase is uh, the chromosomes are lining up at the center of the cell. Uh, we call the equator, the metaphase plate, right in the middle. You see our chromosomes are doing that there. Um, the uh, centrioles have these spindle fibers attached, and the spindle fibers are going to grab the centrioles and push them and pull them in the appropriate locations to help guide them in the right place. Uh, so there's your spindle fibers right there uh, coming out of our centrioles. Anaphase is the third stage of mitosis when we talk about cell division. Uh, really what's happening in anaphase is that chromatids are pulled apart towards the opposite ends of the cell. So you can see in this video here we talk about uh, our chromosome is pulled apart but individual chromatids are brought back there. So this is where we talk about the vocabulary of chromatid. We're talking about the half of our chromosome. If our chromosome is an X shape, remember that this right here is one chromatid and this over here is the other and those two are separate things, right? Connected by a centromere. So what happens is spindle fiber can attach there and pull one half one way and one half the other way and that's what you're seeing down here in this animation. Now those are chromatids here and chromatids here. Uh, the next phase is a fourth phase, which is telophase. Uh, telophase is basically creating another nucleus on each side of the cell. Um, the new cells start to take shape, so they start to stretch out a little bit. Um, and uh, chromosomes uh, begin to make new proteins in the cell as well. Um, they start to go back into the nucleus, shrink down, and, and fade away. Uh, so you can see in this video, basically what's happening is the cell starting to split. It hasn't split yet. Um, a new nucleus is formed on each side. It's really important. Spindle fibers and centrioles start to go away. Um, so we just start to see those new cells take shape. Uh, finally, the end of mitosis, we can talk about animal cells or eukaryotic cells here. Uh, and animal cells undergo cytokinesis by pinching off at the equator. So this is all this video is showing real quick. It's just showing the cell division, just this, this small pinching there. Um, not much of a video, but you get the point. They're totally separated at some some point here. Uh, this works because their membrane is flexible. Uh, number one, that phospholipid bilayer is flexible. It can kind of split and pinch off. Uh, the difference is prokaryotes uh, do binary fission, and this is a more complex process. We talked about this before. Uh, binary fission, uh, when we talked about our cell unit, happens over here, and uh, mitosis is all about this. Uh, this process really kind of looks the same between binary fission, uh, but mitosis has all those earlier steps, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, um, telophase, that the, uh, the prokaryotic cells don't do. Uh, really what they're doing is just doubling and splitting. Here's the DNA in the prokaryote, kind of gets longer, DNA is doubled, they shovel it both sides and split, right? So that's basically it. So they really just double and split. Um, there's less process because they don't form those uh, complex chromosomal structures. 
Uh, the end of mitosis in plants, still called cytokinesis, but it looks a little bit different because plant cells have their cell wall. So remember we talked about the cell wall uh, being a much more rigid structure, so it makes it a little more challenging. Uh, the membrane, the cell membrane is really flexible, so what that allows the uh, animal cells to do is just pinch them off and be done. Uh, plant cells need to send vesicles filled with cell wall material to their equator uh, where they'll fuse together. Uh, this fusion then creates a cell plate that will fuse with the cell wall separating the two. So you can kind of see in this picture here, here's an actual um, picture in the microscope of the cell plate forming. Uh, you can see it's not all the way done here, uh, but it will be. Uh, this cartoon animation shows it pretty well. These vesicles start to go in, start to kind of build the wall, like building it up brick by brick, uh, forming the uh, cell membrane and, excuse me, forming the cell wall um, and making it much more um, durable and also providing that same structure that all those cells need to have.